Just a little bit. All right, stop. No more fire. <laughs> no more fire. Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new product from Pro Camp Tech. I've used their products for years and years now. They're a channel sponsor and they came out with the ultimate waterproof tinder. I mean, what could be more waterproof than Living Survival hair gel? We're gonna find out. So the product we're gonna be talking about today is brand new from Pro Camp Tech. It's called their ultimate fire tinder. As you can see it's just this fluffy, waxy, type material. Before we get into that though, let me show you some of their other products, some of which have been temporarily or permanently uh, discontinued. We have their waxwood stick. This is a very, very pro popular product. It's basically just wax infused wood, but due to wood prices, I believe they have temporarily or permanently uh, discontinued this product. So you can no longer get the waxwood stick. They also made the popular fat rope stick which they've also discontinued. Rope prices, I believe, are very high as well. So these two products are no longer available as of this video. If I'm wrong, you can check the link out in the description. They may bring it back at some point. But the core products that they have now are, of course, their brand new Ultimate Fire Tinder. They have their Fast Fire Stick, which is uh, basically just this cottony, uh, waxy material works really really well. They come in these sticks, which is nice You just cut off what you need and you can have hundreds of fires with this stuff And of course, you know, you get a bag of this stuff You can have hundreds of fires and the reason why they're kind of slimming down is you know They want to be affordable for you guys their tinder has always been affordable I got contacted by a different company and they wanted me to review some of their fire plugs and they were at double the price of what uh, Pro Camp Tech charges for their fire plugs. So again, these are just these cottony fire plugs So they have the ultimate fire tinder the the um, cotton uh, plugs here they have the uh, fast fire sticks available still and then they have their fire strip roll which is kind of this waxy uh, papery material that you just pull out from the bottom here you just cut yourself a little bit uh, of it off and it works really really good I've used all these products in all sorts of different conditions you know, sometimes you're just not gonna have perfect conditions to be able to start a fire, even when it's raining out or snowy out. You know, finding fuel for your fire can sometimes be a little bit easier, especially if you're, you know, cutting down wood or taking dead standing, uh, you know, wood down. It's a lot easier to find that stuff than what you actually need to get that fire going which is the tinder and that is where this stuff comes in you can have this stuff in any type of situation whether it be a heavy duty rainstorm uh whether you know uh, you got a ton of snow on the ground and everything's wet i've been in situations where my bag has gotten completely soaked and my fire bag has gotten completely soaked as well so even with those you know those those cubes that they say are, uh, are waterproof, those can certainly be a pain to light, especially with the spark. You know, a lot of times you gotta have a lighter uh, to get those cubes going, and you only need a spark uh, to get it going, whether that be from a ferro rod, whether it be from, uh, you know, a lighter, or in the case today, I have a lighter that I've drained of fuel, and we're gonna try to get this stuff going. So you can see it's just this really fibery, really stringy, uh, you know, material, it's almost like sawdust in nature, but it's got, um, you know, it's all in infused with this waxy stuff in it, and that's what really makes it uh, go well in a uh, wet situation. All right, so here I have a lighter that I've drilled holes in the bottom, so absolutely no fluid whatsoever uh, in this lighter. Let's see if we can get it going with that. One tip that you could do is you can pop this cap off and that'll get you closer to the flint, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sometimes it'll work better if you can get the top off here and get closer. So I went ahead and pried the top off here. You can see that I'm getting a lot better spark that way. So let's give this stuff a go. One nice thing about this stuff is that you don't have to fluff it up. You don't have to process it. It's just ready to go right out of the bag. You don't have to sit there and pull it apart, which is no big deal, but you know, if you're in a crappy situation, wet weather, you know, the thing you want to do most is get your fire going. So I'm just gonna stack it up a bit there and we'll try to hit it with the spark off this dead lighter. There we go. Even a crappy spark, this stuff will work. 
it burns plenty hot and plenty long, long enough for you to get the rest of your wood on there and get your fire going. All right, Ben, that's cool and all, but let's see it work in a less than ideal condition. Grab some more of this there. You definitely don't need a whole lot. Could use probably a half or a quarter of that. some of it grab some of these pieces here Put these pieces down in the water here Let's give that a go. So I broke the lighter and the wheel won't spin anymore. So let's move up to the next best thing. Stuff is just crazy how it works. So it works pretty good even on a really wet surface. Alright, that's good. Nope, let's see if we can get it to start. Fire. Hang on. It's done. Mama, I need to tell. You got it? I need that. Stand up. All right, spray it from there. Just a little bit. All right, stop. No more fire. <laughs> no more fire.
All right, so in conclusion, it does work well under crappy conditions. If you have a downpour, if your wood, your platform is wet, it is gonna work for you. If it gets fully, fully saturated, it is gonna take a little bit more time to get it going. You're gonna have to maybe rub it around in your hands a little bit, get it a little bit drier. But as you can see, you can hit it with the elements on top of snow, no problem. You could float it on top of water, no problem. But as I mentioned, if you totally just, you know, use it like a sponge and dunk it in the water where it just gets fully saturated, you are gonna have uh, a little bit rougher time uh, getting it going. But as far as weatherproof tinder, it's the best that I've used. It's much better than those wet fire cubes, which you really do need a lighter. You can't do it with the spark. I was able to get the tinder itself lit with just a minimal spark off a dead lighter. I did switch to the ferro rod to do the wet uh, tests on it. And again, if it was fully soaked, it did take a while. But if it just gets, you know, rained on or if your pack gets wet, chances are you're gonna have some dry stuff in there and it's gonna work for you. And definitely you can use it on wet ground, you can use it on wet wood. So in my opinion, it's worth having in your bag and at the price, you really can't go wrong. So there will be links below in the description. Let me know what you guys think of Pro Cam Tech's new fire tinder. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today and give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me that comment below in the comment section. I do try to reply to most of the comments. Please try to share this to your friends and family on your social media. And if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos.